My name is Tibor Shelley. I'm a specialist in Australian opal, although I handled all kinds of opal from all over the world. I have uh, had two specific stones, opals, come from Lightning Ridge, which is the opal capital of Australia, which I have handled in my life. One was approximately 30 years ago. I named that Dark Jubilee. Uh, which was sold to Zales Incorporated, who later on donated it to the Smithsonian Institute. After this beautiful stone, for years, I haven't seen a large Australian black opal, uh, even as large as 318.4 carats. Then, in 2004, I was fortunate enough to buy from a miner a black opal which is larger than anything else that I have ever handled, heard about, or seen. This stone is 755 carats and 34 points. It is a lightning rich black opal from New South Wales, Australia. This is indeed the world's largest Australian black opal ever found, and this has been verified by a gentleman by the name of Len Cram, who is now 82, lives on the opal field, lived most of his life on the opal field, and he said he hadn't heard of anything contrary to what statement I just made. I named this stone Glorious Jubilee, for it is indeed absolutely glorious. The colors in there, with the smallest movement of the stone, change from one shade to the other. Where you would see red before, now you will see green or purple or green or lemon or some other shades. Every shade of the rainbow is represented in this opal. Yes, there are smaller stones, few carat, 10, 20, whatever, but not with this variety of color, not with this brilliance, nor is it really classified as this one, the world's largest Australian black opal. Glorious Jubilee is 106 millimeter long, 84.5 millimeter wide, almost, not everywhere, but the widest point, the thickest section is 14 millimeters. Multicolored, gray-based, genuine lightning ridge, Australian black opal. I'm happy to tell you that this stone is GIS certified. I had them look at it twice and give me a certificate in relation to it. And they tell us that it's genuine opal and also that it's not laminated or put together. It is one piece from top to bottom from one end to the other. Jay Thompson gave us an independent evaluation of the stone. And he says that he hasn't seen anything like it before. He has seen the stone a few times, and the last time he indicated that the price we're presently asking for it is way below what it's worth. For I have seen, for example, at the last jewelry show, a stone that wasn't anywhere near as brilliant in color being asked for $25,000 per carat. I have uh, had the pleasure of knowing Mr. Len Cram for many decades from Lightning Ridge, Australia. He lives there. He lived most of his life on the opal fields. He has written over 25 books, and one of the series that he has written is The History of Australian Opal. This is about South Australian opal, and I am in this book. Although I dealt with opal from all the opal fields, but my base was in South Australia. Now, Mr. Len Cram is kind enough to write a letter of recommendation. This is the largest Lightning Ridge black opal ever came out from Australia or from anywhere else in the world. There's been nothing like it. If you want some information, kindly get in touch with the person that gave you this DVD.